My name is Lisa Hodomarski. I'm the Sutphin Family Curator of Prints and Drawings at the Yale University Art Gallery and co-curator of the exhibition Reckoning with the Incident, John Wilson's Studies for a Lynching Mural. This exhibition considers African-American artist John Wilson's coming of age and coming to confront, in his art, what he perceived to be one of the great moral atrocities of American history, the lynching of thousands of black Americans. Lynching is a horrific strategy that was used historically in the United States to maintain a system of racial apartheid and white supremacy through a program of fear and terror, a form of extrajudicial white vigilante violence resulting in the public beating, maiming, and hanging of black Americans. The instances of lynchings in this country peaked between the years following Reconstruction and the early civil rights era, roughly 1877 through 1950. Lynching's legacy continues to this day in entrenched racist policies and attitudes that permeate America's social, judicial, political, and economic spheres. The recent national outcry over the assassinations of George Floyd and others has brought this country to a necessary moment, demanding an end to the targeted violence against black and brown persons in America. This exhibition brings together nearly all of the known studies and works related to a mural painted by John Wilson in 1952, entitled The Incident, one of the most moving and visually indelible compositions on the subject of a racial terror lynching ever created. Bifurcated vertically, just to left of center, the composition is in essence conceived in two parts, with an implied interior scene at the left, inhabited by a woman, seated, clutching a child, her back turned to the horrific scene at the right, and a man behind her, possibly a father figure, standing with a deeply furrowed brow, clutching a gun and observing what is transpiring beyond. To the right, an implied exterior scene occupied by a group of hooded Ku Klux Klansmen, one cutting a hanged black man down from a tree. The incident was painted not in this country, but in Mexico, in Mexico City, a destination to which Wilson went in 1950 to study traditional fresco painting under the famous muralists Jose Clemente Orozco, Diego Rivera, David Alfaro Siqueiros, and where, in 1952, he had the opportunity to realize a mural of his own design. Wilson felt that unlike other art forms, mural painting had the ability to reach a broad audience and affect social change. He was particularly drawn to the power of mural painting to directly engage with the lived experiences of ordinary people. In Wilson's words, here spoken by the artist's son, Roy. I had seen Orozco's work and I identified with the Mexican muralists because they were using art as a kind of vehicle to express their indignation or express their identification with a struggle for people to liberate themselves from their Spanish oppressors. And I identified because I had begun to understand that I had oppressors here in the United States. Born in Roxbury, Massachusetts in 1922, Wilson had never himself witnessed a lynching, though growing up he had read the regular news articles documenting lynchings at the hands of the Klan published in the Black Progressive newspapers to which his father subscribed. Of his choice of the subject for his mural, Wilson would later remark that the process of conceiving and realizing the composition provided for him a sort of exorcism, his term. Thus, the numerous, powerful preparatory studies that form this exhibition can be read as a kind of personal and physical exegesis. <laughs>